May I come in, ma'am? Yes, please come in. Hi, ma'am. Hi, have a seat. Can I have your resume? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, uh, Sandeep, right? Yes, yeah. Hi, Sandeep. I'm Manaswini, uh, talent acquisition specialist at News and Infotech. So, I've been working here from three years. So, I've been dealing with all the freshers hiring, where I'll be taking the first round uh, to assess their technical skills as well as communication skills also. So, uh, that's about myself. And News and Infotech is a game changer who's serving its services from last decade and a half. Uh, in Hyderabad where we have a couple of branches and um, it is the speciality of this company is into training, placement and staffing. So we do get a lot of client and we never stop in client acquisition and uh, we do have uh, from top MNC to startup. So we do have n number of clients uh, news and in infotech in this decade and a half has achieved so far. So that's about news and infotech and myself as an employee of news and infotech. So um, that's about my self intro. Can you tell me about yourself, uh, Mr. Sandeep? Definitely. My name is Sandeep. I'm from Bajaji Kuduram district. Okay. I completed my B.Tech from Akhilkara Institute of Technology in Mechanical Engineering mm -hmm. in the year of 2018. Okay. Then I completed my diploma in Anbos Institute of Technology in Mechanical Engineering from the year of 2021. Mm -hmm. My technical expertise are in HTML, CSS, JavaScript and I am completely a full stack developer. Mm -hmm. Then my some technical skills are I can manage both front end and as well as back end man. Recently I, I have completed my online certification course in Lentube Academy in a period of three months mm. and my goal is to achieve place in a MNC company where my technical skills are matchable to this company description. Very good. Thank you so much for that. So no worries. So let me just test your technical knowledge here. Okay. So you have told you have both handled uh, and you are good at uh, front end and back end. So, uh, let us have a few technical questions, basic one itself. So, so these are the questions that I got from my technical expert, experts in our company. So, I will try to pose it to you and please try to give the most of the information that you can. So, can you tell me what is a string in Java? String is immutable. Anything inside a double code is called a string. Space is considered as character in a string. Mm -hmm. Some of the features of strings are when we execute the string code and they are not modified. That modified value we call as new class mm -hmm. in string. Okay, great. So, what is a constructor in Java? Constructors are similar to objects. We use constructor for creating objects in classes. Mm -hmm. There are two, two types of constructors. One is parameter constructor and default, another, another one is default constructor. Mm. Parameters, object with parameters we call as parameter constructor. Without parameters are called default constructor in Java. Okay, fine. So let us go to a few HR questions because I can't uh, take it only technical wise of the discussion. So can you tell me about your family, Sandeep? Ma'am, I have one younger sister, mm -hmm. she is studying in the mm -hmm. second year okay. from branch of MPC IIT okay. and I have mother, my mother is shopkeeper, mm -hmm. we three are small family ma'am. Okay, fine. Okay, that's nice to hear and uh, can you tell me like uh, when, when you want to describe yourself in a word? How would you describe yourself? Myself, I am bringing in creative ideas ma'am. Mm -hmm. My passion is hard working, mm -hmm. bringing innovative ideas, mm -hmm. discipline. Mm -hmm. I am mainly touchable to my goals ma'am. Mm -hmm. That's it ma'am. Oh, okay, fine. So I have asked you one word and you have given me a multiple sentences. So no worries, uh, it's better to mention yourself in a uh, different kind of uh, ways because like there is a lot more to tell about a person 
rather than just writing it over the resume. Glad you have picked it up. So, can you tell me like um, what are the things that you know about Java? Because like coming from a mechanical background, Java will be a new world for everyone. So, can you describe Java in your words? Java is a high level object oriented language. Mm -hmm. It was introduced by Microsoft and now that Java is in under Oracle. Mm -hmm. Why we call Java is high level languages? Java, some of the features of Java is simple, secure, robust, multi-threaded. Mm -hmm. These features we call as Java is independent language mm -hmm. and Java is run anywhere like Windows, Linux, Unix. Oh. When compared to other languages, Java is high level programming language now and popular language oh. due to their high level functionality. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. So, um, in the job description, you have observed that we haven't uh, given the information about the salary. It is mentioned as not disclosed. So, can you tell me what is your expected salary? As a fresher graduate, market research says a junior Java full stack developer getting 2.4 to 5 lakhs. Mm -hmm. So, I strongly believe, depend on my technical skills. I will get good package man. Okay, fine. We hope so. At the end of this uh, interview process, you will get to have the best package that we can offer you. And um, to wrap up the interview, I want to ask one final question. Where do you see yourself in five years? As a fresher graduate and software developer, my creative skills are matchable to the job description mm -hmm. and myself I see myself as a my technical skills and my creating innovative ideas are matchable to the company description now. Oh. So I strongly believe I will place a good MNC company now. Okay fine. So with in the upcoming five years you think that your technical skills will be a game changer in your tenure. Am I right? As a fresher graduate ma'am, I will bring fresh perspective and strong academic foundation to the myself and also company growth ma'am. Oh great, fine. So glad you have a good vision. And before we wrap up, um, I just want to have one, one, uh, one more kind of discussion. Do you have any questions to me? Yes ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, how will you manage this stress ma'am? You see a lot of uh, people Okay. In the interview process, hmm. how will you manage this ma'am? According to work in this uh, okay. interview process. Okay. So before the interview process, how do you manage stress is something that you are asking. Okay. Thank you for bringing that kind of question here. So because as a HR professional, stress is something inevitable. As a software also, every person who is living in this competitive world, it is so inevitable that stress is one of the sixth sense that everyone carries. So for me, stress is something that um, I will plan it uh, prior and uh, if any ad hoc tasks come, I will um, ask the time more for that so that I can complete and keep up the expectations from the people who have assigned to me. And uh, even though if I don't have, I'm a very anxious person to be honest. So even though if I don't have stress, I will be like, okay, am I doing exactly according to the company's vision. So I try not to take it so hardly, but I will try to manage it uh, in my timelines and I want it to be stress-free in my life. Any more questions sir? As a senior developer, what suggestions do you give me to a junior developer when coming to company work? Okay, so I would like to give three. One is like stay strong in your basics. Because without that basics, the building can't be left cut up, right? Second one, always work according to the company culture. Because like how good are you in your technical uh, knowledge? You have to work according to the company culture and you have to gel it according to the company culture. That is really important. And third one, never leave learning and development chances in your life. Because to become in a certain level, your learnings play a lot. 
and that is really something that I do believe personally and uh, take it up as a challenge whenever I don't know something and I wanted to be well versed in that skill. So that's up I can say to you. Um, so that's it I can say. So any more still? That's it ma'am. Okay fine. Thank, Thank you, you so much Sandeep uh, for your time and I hope to see you in the round 2. Uh, the recruiter who has coordinated for the round 1, we will get back to you soon. Thank you for giving this opportunity ma'am. Great, great, great talking to you. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.